What makes a great stamp? Is it the design? Or the price? The story behind the stamp? Its history? Or is it something else entirely? We surveyed collectors and asked them to vote for the stamp they feel is the most important. All are wonderful stamps that collectors dream of adding to their collection. Let's dive right in. These are the top 10 stamps in order, as voted by collectors. Coming in at number 10. The 1860-90 cent Washington issue. The 1857 through 1861 stamps were the first U.S. issues with perforations. Their designs were reproduced using the imperforate plates of 1851. However, the 90 cent stamp was a new denomination. The printing firm based the 90 cent design on a painting of Washington in his dress uniform by John Trumbull. The stamps were printed in a rich shade of blue. The 1860-90 cent Washington is commonly called one of the most beautiful U.S. stamps ever issued. The 90 cent Washington covered the 20 cents per half ounce rate for letters and packages sent over 2,500 miles. It was the highest denominated stamp up to that point, exceeding $200 in today's wages. Few were printed and most collectors of the day were unable to acquire it. U.S. No. 39 was issued in late 1860 as tensions grew between the North and South. After several states seceded, the federal government suspended postal service to the Confederacy. Then current postage stamps were rendered invalid, including the newly issued 90-cent Washington. Unsold inventories were returned to the U.S. Post Office and destroyed. Because they were in use for such a short time, used examples are much rarer than mint stamps, and have a higher market value. Number 9. The series of 1922 through 1925, $5 America Stamp. The $5 America Stamp was issued March 20, 1923, with only 1.65 million produced, far less than the quantity printed for other stamps of the series of 1922 through 25. In addition to the low quantity, $5 was a lot of money in 1923. When adjusted for inflation, $5 in 1923 would be equal to over $280 today. Many stamp collectors of the time were unable to invest in such an expensive stamp. Not as many were saved, so the $5 America stamp is harder to find today than other stamps of the same series. The high-value $5 stamp pictures the Statue of Freedom, also known as Armed Freedom, which graces the dome of the U.S. Capitol building. The stamp was printed in patriotic carmine and blue, making it the only bicolor stamp of the series of 1922 through 25. Number 8. The 1898 Trans-Mississippi Exposition, $2 Mississippi River Bridge. The Trans-Mississippi Exposition stamps were issued in 1898 and symbolized impressive feats of the 19th century. Just 25,000 of the $2 Mississippi River Bridge stamp are thought to exist, making it the rarest of the Trans-Mississippi set and essential to a complete collection. The Trans-Mississippi stamps were the first commemorative stamps printed by the Bureau of Engraving and Printing. The designs were chosen to show off our country's growth west of the Mississippi River, the same goal as the exposition. The $2 Mississippi River Bridge stamp pictures the Eads Bridge, an unbelievable example of engineering prowess in America at the time. The bridge marks the boundary between the eastern and western portions of the United States. At the time it was built, in 1874, it was the longest arch bridge in the world at 6,442 feet long. Due to the fact that many people were still trying to get all the Colombian stamps, many collectors couldn't afford the $2 Trans-Mississippi stamp in 1898. That's one of the reasons why it's such a rare find today. Number 7. 1869 Pictorial Issue, 30 Cent Shield, Eagle, and Flags The 1869 30 Cent Shield, Eagle, and Flags is the second highest denomination of the 1869 pictorial stamps. It shares a number of design elements with the 10 Cent Issue, though that stamp was printed in only one color. The flags and lettering on the 30 Cent Stamp were handled by a British-born engraver named Douglas S. Ronaldson. The frame of flags was printed in blue, while the shield was printed in red, along with the denomination spelled out, 
which was printed over the blue flags. Famed philatelic author Lester Berkman said of the 30-cent stamp, were it not for the fact that the method of lettering in the denomination, 30 cents, is most inartistic, this stamp might lay claim to being a handsome stamp. U.S. number 121 was the first stamp to picture a bald eagle in its design. Since then, America's national bird has become a popular patriotic symbol on a number of our postage stamps. Number 6. The 1898 Trans-Mississippi Exposition $1 Western Cattle in Storm When it comes to beautiful stamps, few can compare to the visual appeal and significance of the 1898 Western Cattle in Storm stamp. In addition to its striking design, this stamp is also quite scarce. The 1898 $1 Western Cattle in Storm stamp was part of the series issued for the 1898 Omaha-Nebraska Trans-Mississippi Exposition. The exposition opened on June 1st and ran for four months. It may not have been a financial success, but it brought much-needed economic help to an area experiencing much hardship at the time. The Trans-Mississippi stamps were originally supposed to be printed in two colors. However, with the ongoing Spanish-American War, the Bureau of Engraving and Printing lacked the time and manpower needed to run the two-color press. The stamps were produced in one color each instead. A century later, modern collectors got the chance to see how these stamps were supposed to be printed. The United States Postal Service used the original bicolor dyes to reprint them in two colors as intended. Number 5. 1869 Pictorial Issue, 90 Cent Abraham Lincoln After Lincoln's assassination in 1865, Andrew Johnson took office, but just a few years later, faced the threat of impeachment. He narrowly avoided it as the Senate failed to reach a two-thirds majority vote. In the following election, Johnson was voted out, and Union Civil War hero Ulysses S. Grant was elected as 18th President of the United States. In the midst of all this political upheaval, the United States Post Office Department decided to release a new series of regular issue stamps. They became known as the Pictorials and were criticized almost immediately for their square shape, poor gum quality, and the fact that only three stamps bore portraits, a tradition customers were used to. The highest denomination of the 1869 pictorial issue was the 90 cent Abraham Lincoln. It was printed with a carmine frame and black central design. The pictorials were the United States' first by color stamps. Interestingly, the 90 cent stamp was the only one of the series that has no known inverted center errors. Lincoln's portrait on the 90 cent stamp came from a photograph by Matthew Brady. As the highest denomination pictorial stamp, the 90 cent Lincoln was printed in limited quantities, believed to be just over 55,000. Number 4. The 1893 $5 Christopher Columbus Commemorative. Most of us remember the childhood rhyme in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue, and 1892 marked the 400th anniversary of Columbus's journey. To celebrate the occasion, the United States organized the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago. The U.S. Post Office Department issued a set of 16 new postage stamps to coincide with the event. The $5 denomination is the highest in the set, giving all 16 stamps a total value of $16.34 at their time of issue. According to the Consumer Price Index Inflation Calculator, that equals $558 in today's wages. The $5 Black Columbian stamp features a bust of Christopher Columbus as the central design. The two figures on either side of Columbus represent liberty on the left and America on the right. The 1893 Columbian stamps were the first commemorative of the United States. Max Joel said in 1947 that the series' degree of completion is often the yardstick by which a U.S. collection is measured. However, the stamps were not without their critics. There were complaints about their large size, high cost, and low quality of paper, printing, and perforation. The stamps are prone to scuffs and creases, making premium examples difficult to find today. Coming in at number three, the world's most famous stamp the 1918 24-cent Ginny Invert. 
The 1918-24 St. Ginny in Verd is often considered to be the world's most famous postage stamp because it is known by collectors and non-collectors alike. The rarity and number of thrilling stories about the Ginny in Verd have turned it into a legend in its own right. The Ginny in Verd came about in the middle of World War I. The Bureau of Engraving and Printing was asked to create new airmail stamps just two weeks before the first flights were scheduled to take place. Using a War Department photo, Bureau veteran Claire Aubrey Huston designed the new stamp. Because the stamps were bicolored, every sheet was fed through the press twice, first to print the red frame and a second time to print the blue vignette. In the end, the understaff BEP worked around the clock to finish the stamps in time. With the tight deadline met, the new stamps were placed on sale earlier than promised. Unknown at the time, nine sheets had been fed through the printing press upside down, creating an inverted vignette and positioning the plate number on the bottom selvage. Eight sheets were later found in the BEP office and destroyed. However, one sheet made its way to a single post office in Washington, D.C., where it was discovered by stamp collector William Robey. Over the years, the Ginny inverts have been owned by some of the world's most famous stamp collectors. The stamps have set sale records nearly every time they've come up for auction. In 2005, Bill Gross traded his newly acquired Ginny Invert Plate Number Block to Mystic Stamp Company for the unique 1868 1-cent Z grill stamp. The trade made headlines everywhere. Number 2. 1847 10-cent George Washington Along with the 1847 5-cent Franklin, the 10-cent Washington was one of the first U.S. postage stamps ever issued. This combination of Washington and Franklin portraits on regular issue stamps became a tradition that remained unbroken until the 1870s. The 10-cent Washington paid the postage on letters sent more than 300 miles or double-weight letters sent under 300 miles. Before this, the rate for letters traveling over 400 miles was 25 cents. While the reuse of stamps would become quite a problem for the post office, they continued to use the 10-cent Washington until July 1851, when new stamps and cheaper rates came into use. Today, the 10-cent Washington exists in a number of shades. Yes, even black ink can have shade varieties, in addition to plate varieties and usages that lead to intense search and study. This makes it a fun adventure to collect. And finally, number one. America's first postage stamp, the 1847 5 cent Benjamin Franklin. The 1840s were a time of rapid economic growth for the United States, and with that came a need for faster communication. Great Britain had issued the world's first postage stamp in May 1840, but other countries took longer to adopt the idea. The United States instated new postal rates in 1845, then finally issued the first postage stamps on July 1, 1847. This included a five-cent denomination with a portrait of Benjamin Franklin and 10-cent stamp picturing George Washington. Rodden, Wright, Hatch, and Edson was the firm selected to produce America's first postage stamps. They printed the five-cent denomination in red-brown, though a number of other collectible shades exist too. There are countless printing varieties available as well, such as folded letters or envelopes with the stamp on cover. It's no surprise that one of America's first postage stamps was voted number one. What do you think? Do you think another stamp should have been included in this list? Tell us below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you again soon.